Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Tyranny. I actually talked to a couple people before I realized that I wasn't recording. Uh, this lady said thank you for saving us and that the chorus are trying to attack the disfavored at Helming Rock. Uh, this is a merchant. And then this person, I don't know, I haven't talked to her yet. Greetings, Fate Binder. You've done us all a great service by getting the Scarlet Chorus off our backs. In exchange, I've got a special price for you on all my wares. Yeah, so that's about the spars. Can't say I know much about the spires themselves. They've always been there, towering, never doing much of anything aside from casting shadows. I do, however, come across some interesting items from around about those parts, time and again. Just last Judge's Day, a fellow sold me a charcoal rubbing that was taken from inside one of the spires. Oh, okay. I haven't seen him since. He said he was heading to Stone Down, so I can't really ask questions about it, unfortunately. But it may be worth having a look at. Wait a minute, Stone Down, that's where we came from, right? That must be where we, where we got that ro okay. Wow, so they hid... Where are you? Atrophy? We don't have Atrophy, right? Okay. Strange charcoal rubbing. Man! You have to talk to this person to get the whole... Wow. Alright. That would suck if you never talked to this person. Cap of Absorption. Plus 10 armor to shock. Why would I want a damaged leather shield? Huh. You add the imprint to your existing charcoal rubbing, further illuminating the mysterious rune's shape. Though the design is much clearer now, it still remains incomplete. Man. Just crazy they would hide that in a merchant. Channeling energy through the sigil of atrophy robs the target of vital energy crippling their body and mind. What do we got? Minus three might and vitality. For 45 seconds. Uh, let's see. Rooted. Remove two random beneficial effects. Weakened for 65 seconds. And then silence for 13. Oh, shit. And then acid rain. Minus 5 endurance defense for 30 seconds. And then poison. Man. All these spells sound so cool. But weakened and silenced. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of Spectral Blur. And we'll try this one. Though, a lot of these sound cool. That's the one I'm going to try for right now. Can't do that. Excuse me. And this is just a generic house. Okay. Kalea. Oh! Oh, yeah, the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No mercy for murderers. Death to the beasts. Put him to the rope. Hang him by his hairy throat. We'll have our justice. What happened? A group of our boys, with some help from the chorus, caught the beast just outside of town. They found him like that, for all matter with blood and gore from hunted down humans. Just look at his snout, still stained with his wretched dinner. The woman shudders and touches a grubby handkerchief to her mouth. She blots at her upper lip, pale face and swearing to the Archons. Wretched. 
I'm told man tastes a bit gamey, but wretched seems like needless hyperbole. It's not that far off from Elk or Loris, from what I'm told. Okay. In fact, I've read that the Vatna tribe called human Slow Loris on account of its taste and ease of capture. Never thought I'd be happy to have had the chorus around, but for once they did us right. Now all that's left is to see the brute killed. Of course, with the chorus gone, now we'll have to do it ourselves. Hmm. Well, I'll we'll ask this. You soft on Beastmen or something, Fatebinder? You'd rather side with them than humans? That killer was found with blood all over his face and paws right outside the gate. Who else do you think he ate if it weren't one of us? That monster killed and ate a human. And you call yourself a steward of justice? Well, go on then. Deliver that beast to Wells to serve death. Listen. I've killed many beastmen. Recently. But... Let's... Hold on. He deserves either a Fatebinder's arbitration or a fair trial. Does he, though? I mean, like, are the Beastmen under Kairos' law? Hmm. Sure. That's so, Fatebinder. Why don't you go ask some of the others around, then? See how many of us are interested in your thoughts on justice. She glowers, hands bunching the fabric of her dress, and sh as she adds, you don't deserve to walk free, and you know it. Well, we're, we're here now. Let's do it. The woman pales and takes an unconscious step back. What, what will you do, Fatebinder? Do you mean to find him innocent? With the lack of physical evidence, I will hear the people's testimony and judge the beastman in accordance with Kairos' customs. Oh boy, what did I walk into? Uh, I've heard tales of your heroic deeds at Stone Down. Our scavenger crew is back safe and sound. Those beastmen. Horrible monsters. This world would be a much better place if they weren't around. Some strong feelings you have there. Time's been falling us. All right. You're the fate finder that everyone's been talking about. Is there something I can do for you? Back when the town was primarily a market for farmers, stone stalkers worked as beasts of burden. They did the hauling and the plowing mostly, as they learned not to complain. But then Karen incited them with a fool idea to take back the land of their ancestors, and they've been nothing but rabid, uh, raving and violent ever since. Not long ago, that one up there was dragged into town by a group of settlers in chorus. He was covered in blood, a wild thing. We've done our best to look the other way, but it seems they won't be satisfied to leave us be. Now they're out hunting us just beyond our own city gates. How do you know he was hunting a human? Mmm, that's a dangerous line of thinking, friend. I do prefer to keep my nose out of things, but if you feel certain enough about the beast of his innocence, you might consider doing something about it. Sure. The beastmen are the ones who oppose Kairos in these parts. We're standing on the bones of Azure, but below that are the ruins of the beastmen ancestral territory. When the realm of Azure rose in power, they enslaved the hideous creatures and consigned them to live to lives of hard labor. Ever since Karen fell and the edict devastated the land, the beastmen have started to reclaim the stone sea. Hmm. I do not care what you do in half gates. Let's go back up and talk to you. Do you have anything to say on this? Here. You bet your britches I would. That beast is a gu as guilty as they come. Look it! His fur is still matted in, the, matted in the blood of his victims. The settler is what went missing two weeks ago, no doubt. He reeks of it. The lives he stole. 
Some folks believe we ought to consider his side, but there ain't no point to it. Uh, mister. Even if he ain't the one that did it, those beasts are a threat to our survival. I'd not the noose myself for the time come. I mean, while that may be true, then that also means the Beastman is not deserving of my defense. For the second one. We'll go with this. Any number of things could have happened. You think they fell or starved? No. The proof don't lie. They got ripped apart by a Beastman, didn't they? Or didn't they? I mean, that is, you don't really think he's innocent. Do you, good mister? I don't like the thought of letting him go, but I certainly won't be the one to oppose your authority on the situation, Master Fatebinder. You'll see that justice is served, I'm sure of it. Does anyone have any actual evidence on this? Huh. It's like right now it's just their word against it his, I guess. Can't do that. Can I talk to it? Here we go. As you approach, you take a good look at the area where the townspeople have chained a beastman, brutally and on display like some kind of public attraction. He watches his tormentors, visibly exhausted and wary, battered and bloodied, and stinking of urine and old meat. This is how I would see the miserable creatures, humbled and instructed in their place. To offer them anything more invites anarchy. The beastman snarls and snaps at you. He's drooling tired. Was that a lion's roar? Um, tiredly as he strains against his bonds. His eyes are white with fear, but his limbs droop tiredly and his whole body trembles. Back away or lose both life and limb. Left claw still has killing teeth. Can still maim, human. Calm down. Help Left Claw, he whines, all the bravado draining from him. Why have humans hunted beastmen? Beastmen have never bothered humans. Nose to leave alone. Humans claim beastmen killed settlers, but beastmen has only hunted brown boar. Stone stalkers don't eat meat from humans. Tell settlers. Left Claw is a good hunter. Tracked boar for tribe, but got bit by Iron Maw near ridge to human den. Bled and bled. Thought would have to rip through leg. Then sun woke and humans came, howling threats. The settlers are convinced, but I'm willing to consider. Yes, Left Claw speaks true. Perhaps human will free Beastman? Is there anybody left? To speak to? Uh, maybe there's someone inside this building. Like, I feel like there's... Uh, maybe there's also someone down there. Because, like, no one has offered up any kind of evidence to prove that they did it or didn't. Not yet. Yeah, no one's in here. Uh... Let's try and walk over here. Maybe there's someone we haven't talked to. Hmm. 
Well... No dice. Grayson, do you have anything else to say on this matter? He rushed towards you with his arms outstretched and gripped you tightly around the waist before realizing his intrusion. He quickly backs away. So many different faces come through this town, but how could I miss the one who single-handedly slayed those gangsters? Seems every other day we got new scavengers or artifact hunters or just completely odd folks coming through these parts. Almost unsettling, if you ask me. Ah, here we go. Ah, yes, the animal they caught outside the village. Can't wait for that and pleasantries to be dealt with. Covered in blood, lurking about, no doubt to hunt more settlers. Mangled itself in a trap outside the gates. Don't know why the chorus brought him in. Just wipe the beasts out and drive them away, that's what I say. You didn't actually see him kill anyone. An animal does what an animal does. If there is something to kill, they will kill it. It's a simple matter. I hear rumors you're judging the matter. If you're of a mind to set the beast free, you best do it far from here. If we see him outside the town, we won't hesitate to kill him. What do you know about the spires? Deep in the heart of Beastman territory, there's one. Those dangerous... Those are dangerous parts. You best be watching your back out there. He nods solemnly before continuing. The other is surrounded by those rock worshippers where that colossus of stone finally collapsed. I think he's talking about Cairn. Giant of an Archon. Yep. He kept moaning and groaning as he made his way across the land. Left devastation, destruction in his way can rot up the Beastman something fierce. On it. There's literally no evidence other than this dude had blood on him. But if I judge him guilty, then... Damn it. But no one can provide any evidence that he did. Alright, you're going to be freed. Wrath with Tunon. Really? It's true? Left Claw won't forget help from human. Maybe that means it was guilty. Huh. Or maybe just because I didn't gather the right evidence. But I thought I talked to everybody. Oh. Wait a minute. I wonder if those two people in that building would have told me otherwise. Oh my god, I didn't I didn't check with them again. Shit. Well. Too late now. So I guess we get out of here. tried to talk to everybody too, that's upsetting. Holy shit, that's Cairn? Cairn, Archon of Stone, what a sight! Hey, feel free to kill some time here. I've got, oh, so much to sketch. That's a lot of man. Let's try not to wake him up. Do 
dude is huge. Won't happen. I got it. An armor skin. Can't do that. Uh, what did what did you find? Usually that means we found a like hidden object. Why'd you take a look at that? Did they just find the rope? Like I am not seeing. Can't Dude, do I'm that. Not, I'm not seeing anything. Besides the rope. Holding down tab. Am I blind? Hidden object found. <laughs> Where? Video game? Okay. Hello, friends. A fate binder of Tunon here? What business have you at Howling Rock? Speak or be pelted with stone. Let's do the sign of the sigil. So you are one of us. The earth shaker signs the sigil back to you and the coded exchange is complete. She nods and touches her fist to her chest in salute, but her eyes are hard as boulders, wary as she watches you. We will raise the gate, but be warned, Fatebinder. I will see the earth swallow you whole should she bring strife against us. That's... fair. Whoa, sir! Wait up! Hello, friends. Fatebinder, you survived to join us. The Iron Guard studies you with a stern intensity. If the exertion of the run has winded him, he does not show it. His brother, on the other hand, doubles over, hands on his knees as he catches his breath. Between the two of them, Cadus is splattered in the remnants of battle while Radix stands wholly pristine. Of course he would. Cadus looks to his older brother and straightens. He saw the trail of corpses he left. Made my job easy. Well, easier. Lieutenant gives you a curt nod. Thanks to you, we've made it in one piece. I'm ready for rest and a bath. He plucks a bit of entrails from his shoulder guard and flicks to the ground. You and me both, sir. While I do not consider traversing rocky terrain to be particularly tra travailing, I am eager to enter the compound. Take as much time as you need to recoup, Feybinder. If you need me, I'll be examining the state of Karen's remains. Alright. Well, let's go explore down here first. Can't do that. Still don't know what the purpose of, like, uh, did I sell some of those? Or did we just have a bunch of crystals still? No, we just have a bunch of crystals. I'm assuming there's gonna be a, whoa, a purpose here. Okay. 
Ah! That must be what we spotted. Sigil of Bounding Bolts. Allows the spell to bounce to many additional targets. Okay. Hmm. Wonder if you can bounce heal spells. You can bounce this one. But none of us even have the lore for this. Oh wait, no, yeah we do. Hmm. Oh, right here. Let's just click this one and update. Oh, right. Hmm. We can do all of these. Yeah. We'll give that a shot. Uh, what else would bounce the target? Ooh, I wonder if Berserk, like in range mind. Um, no, no, I can't. Spectral Blurt, no. This could, the taunt. That's kind of out of Barrack's lore. Yeah, even with that. Okay. Because of bolt can, but we already have that set to a line. I wonder if this would be better. It does bounce four times, so that in theory could be better. Can I get both of these? No. Not yet. Hmm, okay. Ball lightning could bounce instead? That would be far too high. Electric bolts. Hmm, we have to take off all of those. Let's see. So we can have this bounce. We can also have it stun people. And then be accurate. So it wouldn't be as powerful, but stunning and jumping seems kind of cool. Let's update that then. Cool. There are so many spell stuff. So much spell stuff in this game. Which is great. Now let's go into the camp. Oh wait, hold on. Now let's pick up that crystal for some reason. to him at the, uh, after we explore everything else. Kastis. That name sounds familiar. A bronze tower shield. Nah, 
Nah. We'll keep that one. Also, let me, I guess, use this. The Earth Shaker pounds his fist to chest in a brush, brusque salute as you approach. Careful with your footfall, Fate Binder. This close to the source, the surface is likely to shift at a moment's notice. You lot look as weary as I feel. It's the incessant trembling that's done you in, isn't it? It's hard on the bones, but, you know, I rather think I'd find the tectonic quakes to be soothing if I didn't know they were caused by my Archon's pain. Yeah, that's fine. You're free to look at it as you will. I mean, he did betray us. Uh, let's see, so just a Masterwork Staff? SCPS, but eh. Nice recovery and deflection, but the helmet that we have right now prevents him from being silenced, so that's going to stay on. Will do. Can't do that. Rug recipe. Sorry, I can't. What up? Uh... <laughs> okay, we found something. It's going to be purple, but there's a lot of purple on this screen. Yep, we discovered something. I'm trying to flash tab just to see if I can notice a purple blinking. Nope. Alright, great. What have we here? Cool. Fate Binder, I presume you are adequately rested. The Iron Guard study. Well, I mean, they, sure. Well rested, huh? Cadus jerks a glance at Redix. Hate to think of what it might mean that earlier show wasn't a Fate Binder of peak performance. Glad you're with us, sir. The commander touches a knuckle to his chin in thought. Yes, I must admit I am as well, especially in weight of recent discoveries. What discoveries? While I served Ash at Vindrian's well, in my stead, the guild succeeded in their mission to locate and guard Karen's remains. Of course, none of us expected he would have survived. My Earthshakers commenced studying Cairn and, as a result, have unearthed a rather inviolable finding. Cairn yet labors to survive. This, of course, is ultimately infeasible. Even the mountains cannot withstand the force of Kairos' will. However, our Archon has retained a considerable sum of arcane energy. Energy that my guild could harvest and wield. According to the General, long as Cairn lives, the Edoks will keep tearing up the land. That's good for us, bad for the Rebels and the Chorus. How so? It's simple tactics, sir. Ruined farmland means less food to feed the masses. The disfavored have more supplies stocked, and since there's fewer of us, we need less rations overall. Plus, we're made of tougher stock than the chorus and the tearsmen. We'll be fine. Meanwhile, a starving army will be easy prey for Ash. We'll force the enemy to squabble over supply lines while we sack their forts. Basic, barbaric even, but effective. Yeah. Your assumption is correct. However, my Earthshakers have devised a ritual wherein we can extract and expel Karen's energy in one concentrated pulse upon his death. It would permanently ravage the land, starving Nerat's chorus and the rebel army, enabling us to end the war. While I would relish the opportunity to study Karen further, we cannot risk this strategic advantage. We must gain Ash's approval to act swiftly. 
I hope I'm not the only voice of dissent here, but blighting the land will starve the Scarlet Chorus, not to mention a large part of this realm. I thought we were fighting a war to gain something. It looks like we're causing massive devastation for one dumb victory. Am I wrong here? The Scarlet Chorus should be wiped from the region. There, These are the consequences of declaring war on the Great General. Hmm... Starving a bunch of people that are not Scarlet Chorus. It's not cool. But, um... I have no other choice here. Don't talk to me about what needs to happen when you're the one on the ground who dictates how this war gets fought. At least take some responsibility for what you're doing. What? Okay. Loose stones jostle across the ground as he nearly uh, imperceivable impatiently taps a booted toe. If a lot of you are quite well finished, I'd like to get on with it. Deliver word to Iron Hearth. Tell Ash we have well established our fort in the Stone Sea. Tell him of the plan we have devised to destroy the land and defeat the voices of Narats. Would it not be faster to send a code of missing? It's too great a risk to send something with another messenger. You have the best chance of getting back. Uh, do be swift about it. In the meantime, I will assume Ash's approval and see to the provisions necessary for the ritual. See, what he means is safe travels, sir. Oh, boy. Uh, what can you tell me about the spire? I'll... Grant you ingress to the base if that is what you desire, but I advise you not to let it become the foremost consumption of your time. My earth checkers have already extensively examined the site, yet we're unable to uncover more than a cavernous room with some carvings in the floor. Hmm, yet Karen's clinging to the base like it's the only dinghy in a storm chopped sea. What do you reckon that's about? Delirium, perhaps? Who rightly knows the effect an edict may wreak on one's mental capacity? Or maybe he knew of a peculiarity we yet do not. Perhaps the Dawning Spire could have restored him had he managed to rouse it from its dormancy. Perhaps not. What about the chorus movements? Shit. If there aren't more than uh, more of them than maggots out here. Can't go two feet without needing to gouge someone's entrails out. The soldier rubs the palm of his... Oh. Wait a minute. We've already heard that one before. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so please do have exterminated the ones who hold up in Halfgate. You up and massacred the whole damn slew? Damn, I think you just stole my heart, sir. Uh, the mountainous man cants his head to you in the slightest gesture of approval. Impressive indeed. I suppose you've garnered my interest in your capabilities as well. On it. Huh. Before we go to Graven Ash, I think I would rather do the Spire stuff. So I think that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. So thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Take care.